once upon a time i did not have a clear conception of the radiological anatomy after becoming a doctor when i was attending patients every plain x-ray ke ubi became obscure to me i used to giving a blank look towards the plain x-ray ke ubi to find out the kidneys and the ureters but situation will be changing from now my students will learn to read the x-ray and avoid the embarrassing situations in front of the patients so let's see a plain x-ray ke ubi region this x-ray is taken on ap view anterior posterior view here before going to find out the positions of the kidney ureter and urinary bladder we will go for some identifications already you have known that these are the uh, shadows of ribs isn't it okay and i uh, think that you are also known to these structures here another is here here is another one yes these are the body of the vertebrae on each side of the vertebra there are two projections lateral projections okay yes these are the transverse processes here is one transverse process is another one here these are the transverse processes here are the transverse processes here also the transverse processes okay now come to these structures what is this yes these are the tip of the spinous process but remember that this tip of the spinous process is of this vertebra okay and this tip of the spinous process is of this vertebra here this one is for this vertebra and the other tip of the spinous processes are same of the corresponding above vertebra okay now here this image is for the ala of the sacrum here the sacral promontory then again here is another sided ala of the sacrum clear and here is the sacroiliac joint okay this bone is ilium one of the bones of the hip bone now come to the point before going to identify the location of the kidney and the ureter we have to learn how to count the vertebrae okay come here we know that there are two floating ribs in our body one is uh, 12th rib here is the 12th rib and another is 11th rib okay here is no ribs here no ribs okay so we can assume that this is the 12th rib and surely this should be the 12th thoracic vertebra okay we just write here to l thoracic vertebra here now come from below okay here just look at the transverse processes and the tip of the spinous processes okay here below this transverse process there are no further transverse processes isn't it below it it is the ala of the sacrum okay and again uh, here this is the tip of the spinous process and below it no other shadows like this okay here is the upper surface of the body of the first sacral vertebra okay and it is the sacral promontory so it should be our lumbar five vertebra okay we will write in this way that it is our lumbar five vertebra now count down and go above here this should be the lumbar four this should be lumbar three here is the lumbar two here is the lumbar one so it is thoracic 12 vertebra so we have count down our vertebra of this abdominal region very nicely now if you are asked to find out the location of the ureter then you have to start from 
lumbar two vertebra okay because we have already known that uh, ureter becomes at the level of the lumbar two vertebra in front of the tip of the transverse process so it is the lumbar two vertebra and here is the transverse process ureter will start from here and it comes downward in front of the transverse processes and up to the sacroiliac joint from here it will go downwards and laterally in the pelvic region again uh, in case of left side we will find our ureter at slightly higher position at the level of the second lumbar vertebra in front of the tip of the transverse process then come down in front of the transverse processes of the other vertebrae and here in the in front of the sacroiliac joint it comes down and at the pelvic brim it will go downwards and laterally into the true pelvis so when we uh, look at the plane x-ray of kb region and uh, we want to find out anything in the ureters we will look through this area from here up to here okay and again on the left side from here up to here not in this area not in this area clear and now if you are asked to find out the location of the kidney then how will you uh, find it very simple we know that hilum of the kidney is at the level of the lumbar one vertebra okay so uh, here the hilum of the kidney will be situated okay and kidney is extended from thoracic 12 up to the lumbar 3 on the right side and slightly higher in the left side and upper pole of the kidney is nearer the uh, midline and lower pole is away from the midline 7.5 centimeter away and here upper pole is 2.5 centimeter away okay so uh, if we draw an outline like this it will be the outline of the right kidney and if we draw an outline slightly higher like this then it will be the outline of the left kidney okay so uh, we will uh, look at these areas to find out any pathology in the kidney already you can see that some radio opaque shadows are found here one two three four okay uh, this may be the stone yes these are the renal stones here uh, in the pelvic aliceal system of the right kidney and in case of left kidney here is another radio opaque shadow though it is obscure but it may be also a renal stone and then where the urinary bladder will locate urinary bladder will locate in this area okay here uh, now i am removing all the marking okay it is the x-ray uh, you will have to see every time uh, in your practicing life after becoming a doctor so then you will look at these areas here and here also for any pathology in the kidney and from lumbar 2 in front of the transverse processes of the other vertebrae both right and left side here you have to look at the ureters are there any uh, pathology in the ureters and if you want to look at the bladder then you have to turn your eyes in this region okay now let's see uh, contrast x-ray it is the intravenous urogram here a contrast dye is injected through the uh, vein and after a specific period of time the x-ray film was taken here you can see the radio opaque dye uh, here in the pelvic aliceal system and also the dye uh, is coming down through the 
ureter okay on the left side and also in the right side now just look that uh, here is our uh, sacrum okay and here is the transverse process the lowest transverse process and the lowest tip of the spinous process so it is the fifth lumbar vertebra here is the fourth lumbar vertebra third lumbar vertebra second lumbar vertebra and just go to the right and here in front of the tip of the transverse process of the second lumbar vertebra here the ureter begins or starts and it comes down in front of the other vertebrae okay and up to the sacroiliac joint okay the abdominal part of the ureter and here in the right side the ureter is slightly lower than the left okay and also come down in front of the transverse processes of the other vertebrae and the amount of the dye is less in in the right ureter so it is uh, not so much clear but look at the left one and uh, just come at the true pelvic region here one uh, radio opaque shadow uh, is seen this is our urinary bladder now let's see the another contrast x-ray i think you can find out the pelvic alicial system and the ureter and urinary bladder very easily here just answer what are these yes the right sided pelvic alicial system okay and here at the left sided pelvic alicial system okay just at the level of the second vertebra the ureter will start and come down in front of the other transverse processes okay and here on the left side it uh, will start just slightly above than the right and come down uh, like the other sided ureter okay and here at the pelvic brim it goes downwards and laterally and then forwards and medially and open at the lateral angle of urinary bladder okay here is the urinary bladder in here and in, in case of right sided ureter at the pelvic brim it uh, goes downwards and laterally and then forwards and medially and open at the lateral angle right lateral angle of the base of the urinary bladder yes this is the intravenous urogram thank you for watching and subscribe to keep in touch